A. We live in two different worlds. One is an ideal world where everything is what we dreamt of. This is a perfect world we've created in our heads. And then there is this real world. This is where we live in. This is our reality. Both these worlds are rarely the same. There's always a gap that exists between them. However, the larger the gap is, the more the suffering is. So how do we reduce this gap? This is exactly what I will share with you in this video. So let's begin. Hi there, if this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Aparna, I'm a coach. Every week I bring to you tips, tricks, tools and hacks that can help you upskill your life. If this interests you, do consider subscribing to my YouTube channel or following me on any of the social media handles that are flashing on the screen and are also given in the description below. One of my client is a high performing executive. She's amazing in her work and has grown quickly in her career. After much courtship, she married her college sweetheart and they were a happy couple until the lockdown happened. Lockdown brought in the personal proximity with each other and along with it, a whole lot of issues. Every small thing that he did bothered her. It hurt her to the point where she was wondering if she was really in love with him. He seems to be perfect before. What changed? She thought the life that she had imagined with him isn't exactly the way it's turning out to be. Hence the suffering and a whole lot of complaining. Coaching with me helped her move out of the fog and gave her the clarity of thought. Once the awareness set in, she realized that her ideal world is clashing with her real world, which too is her making. It's just that she didn't see it before. This happens to all of us, right? In many areas, we think and dream of things going in a certain way and get frustrated when things don't go that way. Does that mean we give up on the dreams that are not realistic, that are not possible? Not at all. The idea is not to give up on your dreams, but making sure that you laid a proper path to get there. But if there is a gap and there are high chances of you finding some gaps, instead of feeling disappointed, you should do something about filling that gap, right? So how do you do that? I suggest the three R approach, review, reset, and recharge. Let me explain. The only thing that is permanent in this world is change, right? Embracing the change helps you become resilient towards it. So expect the change and review your dreams and goals periodically. You can use milestones such as the change of calendar or your birthday for such exercise. Reviewing what your ideal world is, considering the current scenario is crucial for your sanity. And believe me, the time you take to review is truly the time that you invest in yourself. When you're in a review mode, you'll understand what and when to change direction. This will help you press the reset button. Resetting the second R is also equally important because it'll help you get started again on your intentions, goals, plans, and habits accordingly. Reset is an action plan in a new renewed direction. The third R is recharge. Just like how we charge our phone, we need to charge our energies so that setbacks we face are managed with minimum damage. Recharging yourself every single day is important for you to move on. We can always make our dreams into reality as long as we believe in them and put in hard work that is required. However, it is quite possible that things don't go the way we plan them. The three hour approach that I shared with you today is gonna to help you then. That's it from me. What do you think of the three hour approach? Do you think it'll help you recalibrate? Do let me know in the comment section below or you may reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that I'm in. Thank you so very much for watching. If you like this video, do hit the like button and share it with your friends and I'll see you next week with another topic. Until then, 